Hi, Dave Borton, Mill City Roasters here in Minneapolis, continuing segments of Roasting 101. Today we're going to look at roast stages and the use of airflow. So, where do we start? Okay, the unit has been pre-warmed for 40 minutes. I'm looking, I've got a drop temperature of roughly 390 degrees for this high grown. The burners are on, it's hovering around 390. It's been pre-warmed, I've got my charge loaded up. Let's roast. We'll open the hopper and I shut the burner off for the first minute. I'm going to turn my air down to low. During this drying stage, I want all of that energy picking up and wicking away the moisture. Coffee starts at about 10.5 to 11% uh, water moisture. And so I want to dry that bean out to about one half of 1% at the end of drying. I do that with an airflow setting of low. Now about five minutes or so into the roast, I'm going to have been checking the uh, trier. And when the beans are entirely yellow, they've lost all their green hues, I'm going to mark end of drying and turn my air up to medium. During this airflow, um, convective energy begins to work with conductive energy. This is the caramelization stage, roughly between five minutes and first crack, by using an airflow of medium, so that we pick up convective as well as conductive energy. Long about 380 degrees on the bean temperature, I'm going to be keeping an eye on that bean. And when those beans begin to have seam openings, and I begin to see the finest wisps of smoke under that light, before first crack, I'm going to turn my airflow up to high. That is going to expel the smoke from the unit, and that smoke won't cloud the volatile oils that are in the coffee. So from first crack through the end of the roast, I'm going to go ahead and use an air setting or an airflow of high. That's about as simple as it gets. Three stages of roasting. Drying to five minutes, first crack, before first crack, the caramelization phase, and first crack between eight and ten minutes, completing the third stage, which is first crack and beyond. I'm going to use three airflow settings, low during the uh, drying stage. In the caramelization phase, I'm going to use medium, and then 20 seconds before first crack, as indicated by opening seams and wisps of smoke, I'm going to use an airflow setting of high. That's the way we roast at Mill City Roasters. Glad you watched in with us today and look for other segments of Roasting 101. Goodbye.